every sip investor will have to go through agni pariksha in march 20 the agni pariksha was huge three years equity sip returns were negative five years equity sip returns were lower than savings bank account and 10 year equity sip returns were lower than bank fixed deposits but people who pass through that agni pariksha today are seeing double digit return across 3 5 and 7 and 10 year so agni pariksha to deni padegi jo pass hoga he will enjoy he or she will enjoy the return other way what do you want to start with sip you have become so smart now that <laughs> i can't put a question to you <laughs> Sir, the panel is about you guys, not about me. Yeah, no. Sir, I'm going to study behind me. Whatever, I'm going to ask you a question. Pooch na, pooch. <laughs> My question for the larger audience here is, we have seen this big change, and this is something I want to bring out for the audience here as well. There was a time when FIs would sneeze and markets would catch a flu. The number which we would always look at is that what was the FI selling? But the number which we get very happy about in the morning when we start our show is what domestic institutional investors are doing. This is a mega trend. But is this mega trend here to stay? Because for the first time, so the temperament will be tested. If you came after COVID, you made money. Now the heat is going to be felt. I would say, Nikun, this is definitely here to stay for multiple reasons. A, the number of investors participating in India has gone up from, let's say, two, two and a half, three crores to roughly nine crores today. Abhi logon ko khun lag gaya hai, you know, in last two years. And I do not think it is, as many people call it, a sucker's rally. It doesn't look like one, at least to me. So this domestic in money is here to stay. Because when we look at the domestic money, the context of our GDP, the absolute saving, and still the amount of money which is coming to retail public, you know, there is still a disconnect. That's, and second point is, where are the alternatives? If I'm not doing equity, what do I do? I get 5% in a bank deposit. If I pay 35% tax, then I'm actually decreasing my money, like not increasing it. Yeah. It, it. So I can put some in gold. I can put some in property. But ultimately, equities will have to be the answer. That's one. That's the point number one. Point number two, that... When I look at the absolute size of GDP and absolute saving, still then the money it looks small. And the third and the biggest point, when we see the investor go up from 3 crores to 9 crores, we are all getting excited because it has happened in a short period of time in COVID. But let's remember there are 140 crore people. What is talk that this number in 5 years time can't be from 9 crores to 20 crores or 18 crores? So I think this is definitely here to stay. And uh, is it coincidence that all these guys came in at an absolute right time and they have made money? The only word of caution which I would like to put here is that let us not extrapolate in our minds what has happened in the last two years. Because we have made tremendous money. There have been 100 to 300 percent average return on a lot of companies. Once you start extrapolating that in your mind, then you will definitely get disappointed. Because making money in equities was so easy, then why will any businessman do business? They will only do share market business, right? Because when I put the money in a, in a company, I make only, if I'm a good company, I make 18% ROE. So how come some entrepreneur who is making 18% ROE will allow you to make 200, 300% return on his own stock? So we are back to basics, we are back to stock specific, we are back to reasonable returns. And be prepared because after so much money is being made, as, uh, uh, as uh, uh, Nilesh Bhai said, be prepared for the volatility. You may call it Agni Pariksha, you may call it volatility, you may call it a routine uh, test of the market. But be prepared for it, basically. It could come for any reason, it could come for global, local, oil price, etc, etc. But the fact is, the, we will always tend to, um, uh, tend to go to mean to reversion, right? If so much money is being made, there is a possibility, and that is what history has taught us, that there is a possibility that there could be some hiccups down the line. But personally, if you ask me if that hiccup were to happen, I am only the buyer for Indian equities from a five-seven year perspective.
Are you fully invested in this market apart from little bit cash? Because we don't have anything to do. Fully invested, <laughs> little leverage, but sensibly, I would say. <laughs> Mr. Jain, there is inflation. Inflation means that future returns will get compromised. When inflation is making a comeback, my simple question, which I personally want to understand, and perhaps everybody in the audience wants to understand, how can one protect your portfolio in a rising inflationary scenario? Actually, equities are a hedge against inflation, and I mean, as you know, uh, the Sensex has delivered returns in line with the nominal GDP growth, and that means real plus uh, inflation. So I think uh, if you are expecting uh, high inflation, reasonable inflation, I don't think the equity investor has to worry. It is on the other hand the bond investors who have to worry because bond prices could uh, come off. So I don't think I would worry too much about that. But if I may go back to your earlier question and maybe uh, give an alternate point of view. About praising media? No, about the retail flows. See, most of the participation by retail has been through FNO, bulk of it. And you can, yes, you can see it on the stock exchange uh, volumes. And it is common knowledge that FNO, by definition, is a zero sum game. It is actually a negative sum game if you eliminate the transaction costs. And recently, there was a very good study by ISB in tie up with the uh, NSC. And it suggested that 95% of or thereabouts of direct trades have ended up losing money. So I think on the whole, equities have done well, and especially money that came in in the COVID lows. But uh, I would not be so optimistic on the continued buoyancy of retail flows. In directly, I mean the SIPs will continue. SIPs, I don't think we have to worry. As uh, Nilesh said, that's a habit well ingrained. But this direct participation, I don't think will end like this, because you started off making money, and as you, the positions have only increased, and number of people have increased, and by definition, it's uh, you are. I don't think people are making money, so I would not be so optimistic on that. And also, if you look at the quantum of flows, it is quite large. The Indian mutual funds are collecting what roughly three lakh crores a year, right? That's 40 billion. That is 13% uh, of household financial savings. And if you assume a likewise number in the uh, maybe or direct or half of that, so almost 20, 25, 30% of financial savings are getting into equities. I think uh, that does not leave too much uh, on the upside. And also we have experienced time and again that the majority is not able to make money in equities. So whatever the majority does, over time, it has proven to be a losing bet. So I would be slightly cautious, at least on the direct uh, participation, though I do feel quite optimistic that the SIP is here to stay and grow, probably. So let's look at past returns and then uh, extend it with future returns. We've not had... We've not had, ex we've, we've had decent returns in the last two years, but if I look at the last five year return and 10 year returns, the returns have been below average. So even if the starting point is today, 21st of April 2022, for next three to five years, is there a, not a possibility, but a strong probability of a double digit CAGR return, three to five years? No, I think there's a very strong probability. If you invest sensibly, if you don't take leverage, uh, I think there is uh, every reason why you should make money because India's nominal GDP should grow uh, between 12 to 16 percent. And I mean, valuations are slightly expensive, maybe 10 or 15 percent above longer term averages. But that means, that still means over three, five year periods, you should end up making uh, near double digit kind of returns. And I just want to put a data here. Uh, Mr. Jain has been managing the same scheme for the last 25 years and his CAGR return, if I look at in last 25 years, is more than 100x, which means if you invested 1 lakh rupees 25 years ago, which none of us did here actually, but if you invested, which you did by the way, right, your money is actually 100 times, more than 100 times. 
but the gentleman on my left side has identified lot of stocks where money has gone up 500 times and that's madhusudan kela now mr kela is called as the market maverick that's what i like to call you because every time you come on a public forum you will tell people how to invest and more importantly where to invest and how to invest in which stock so that was an open ended question now you'll have to give me the answer <laughs> for nikunj you know just to again clarify to prashant's point i did not mean that this 9 crore will become 18 crores in next one or two years i mean in a longer term horizon because there is no real uh, uh, alternate to equities uh, that is what is uh, that is what will happen so you know this volatility in fact if you look at what has happened in corporate india specifically in last two years two three years it's been a tremendous clean up lot of companies have made lot of money and uh, you know the 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 leverage on the balance sheet of companies have actually come have come down considerably if i look at last 5 6 years the competition in lot of sectors have actually receded very very significantly so the people who have very very good strong balance sheet i don't think there is real dearth of opportunities for those companies and subsequently for investors so you have to just do your work properly if you have done your work if you are bottom up investors i would be very disappointed if it if i did not make higher team returns in my portfolio in the next you know 5 years kagar about kagar return kagar return okay. so where do you think there is possibility of this kind of a return i mean for markets to for stock prices to go higher i'm just using it for the benefit of our audience just remember this simple thing market price is a function of eps into pe so where do you think earnings will go higher and where do you think pe will expand <coughs> so nikunj i think there are again i'm not trying to evade the question but i, I will not let you evade the any, question i would hate to say a particular sector because ultimately even from that sector you have to buy uh, uh, companies right because if you identified an auto sector 3 years back but if you bought the worst company that doesn't mean that you have done well so you have to ultimately